So this short video is going to very quickly tell you how to set up a poll in Blackboard Collaborate Ultra um, and how to save yourself a bit of time as well. So what I've done is I've got my participants in the room with me. I've got 10 of them at the moment. Um, and I've got a slide uh, which has a question on it, which I've presented to the class. So now I'm going to set up a poll with four choices. And the choices are going to reflect the information to the question that I've put here on the slide for them. So to set up a poll, all I have to do is go into share content, select poll here from the list or polling. I've given a couple of uh, choices. I've got multiple choice questions or a yes, no choice. I'm going to choose multiple choice in this question. And because I've got all the information on the slide, I don't have to spend my time filling out all the information here. So this is going to save me a lot of time. All I have to do is add two more choices to represent the four answers. And then I can just click start. The poll then appears on the screen. And my students can begin to answer it. So now that my students have submitted their responses, I can see those in front of me here on the, the poll. Um, this one no response is actually me because I do count as well. And I know that the correct answer is number one. If I ever want to refer back to the question or if the students do, because this does cover the slide area, I can just click on the poll icon just here and that will minimize it. And I can have a look at the question and just bring it back up again to make my choice. When all the answers have been collected, I can click show responses. This locks the poll and lets the students see how they've answered. The students can't see how one another have answered, so it's anonymous in that way. But I, as the instructor, can go into my attendee panel and I will be able to see how the students have answered because there will be a little number next to their name. I can then let them know which the correct uh, answer was. I can fill in any gaps in knowledge if I feel that not everyone is understood. Obviously, this is a bit more of a quiz question, so it's not, it's not the, the best example of it. But this is a good way of me getting feedback from my students, checking they're engaged, and also gauging their understanding of the topic we're talking about. So it's very important before I move on, uh, to my next slide or my next question for me to close this poll. If I just click this little X, all that does is minimizes the poll. It's actually still running and it will still be running on their screens as well. So once I'm satisfied that the, the poll is finished, I can click end the poll. I can then move on in my slides, set up another poll a little bit later if I'm going to do further poll activities. And just resume with my interactive webinar.